Hi, beautiful. What's up? Today we're watching some people go blonde at home with box color. Yay! They're gonna be using only things that you can find at the uh, local drugstore. We might get some good things, obviously some bad things. We'll see what happens. It should be fun. Should be a party, baby. So let's check it out. Let's watch some people try to go blonde and probably fail miserably. Let's do it. Why are you looking at me like that? Like I'm a Let's go, baby. Like I'm a crackhead. Like what? You think I'm a crackhead now? What? You think I'm a crackhead? Tell the audience. Tell them how I am who I am. Tell them that I slept with him, okay? There's a demon inside me. First up, we have a video by Rosemary Lopez, and this is bleaching my hair from dark to blonde. L'Oreal Paris, colorista, bleach all over, balayage part one. Okay, let's check it out. That's what I sound like. I think you have an eyeshadow. I think you have an eyeshadow. Hair. Right off the bat, her hair is really, really, really dark brown, and it looks really like good. I just feel like she's going to ruin it, considering she's using box color on her very, very dark hair. This is already something that's gonna be really hard to do in the salon, but you're bringing it home and you're only using box dye, so that's 20 times harder. Number one step that you need to do before you bleach your hair is to put coconut oil from your roots to the hair. So over this coconut oil. I'm gonna sue the coconut oil industry is what I'm gonna do. Bleach is made to eat away at the hair and go inside the hair and lighten it. Therefore, if you put some coconut oil on your hair, what the f is gonna happen? It's gonna eat away at the coconut oil, dude. We're gonna use the L'Oreal Colorista Bleach. This is spooky. Number one, the developer. I was so shocked. I could have found it. I said, where's the powder? So the powder is here. It's just like hiding on the side. There's a lot of reasons why this scares me. First of all, it's because she has no idea what developer she's using on her head. Is that really gonna be enough? lightener for your entire head what if you need more i feel like they're gonna give her very bland directions that don't really tell her exactly what to do on her particular hair type it's just general directions because obviously it's a color box like what are you gonna do put specific directions to each person no you're gonna put general directions and then people follow the general directions and it doesn't come out how they want it to come out three it's the lightening cream number four is the anti-breast conditioner with cool oh. our um, developer and the powder bleach. We're dividing the hair into sections, into four sections. Yes, I love to see it. You guys know that. And I'm just gonna get a small piece. So guys, avoid to put the bleach on the tip. I mean the root. <laughs> she said something I liked, which was avoid the root. Um, The other thing that she did that I hated <laughs> was just grab the section and go with the lightener. The section was a little bit too big, but I'll, you know what, I'll take it. I like that she's using foil. I really dirty. I actually don't mind her technique. Okay, so we're doing like a balayage moment. I'm worried she's gonna get a lot of spotting going on just because she's kind of just going on the top surface of her hair and just swishing it on through. It makes me nervous, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna leave it for an hour, but it says in her instruction that 40 to 60. 40 to 60. That's good. My hair is really dark and I just wanted to get the best result for the hair bleach um, tonight. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave it for an hour. I think that's great that she left it on for an hour. That's perfect timing for her. Oh, it's blonde. We're gonna rinse it off and that's the time that we will see the final result. Holy blonde! I am just gonna put a toner. I wanna see her rinse it off and do a little shh. A little tonage. It's looking stringy. Our hair's looking dry, but that's to be expected. We're using lightener. This is a transformation that's about to happen. I'm so excited for this. This is now the result of our bleach, pretty much. I am so happy about it. And as we can see, it's kind of orange. Yeah, and that's very normal if you bleach your hair. She's going to bleach it again, apparently. Thank 
God, I thought she was gonna leave it like that. I honestly was really scared. And I just apply more hair color on the tip of my hair because um, it's where I wanted to achieve the lightest color. For this one, you just need to repeat the process all over your hair. A long story short, watching her bleach it again, apparently she did it like three or four more times. And then she toned it. And then she did more sh and more sh and then we got this. Right now, it's, it looks fine still, but kind of dry. But yeah, we're, we will gonna revive my hair by using like hair mask. I'll be experimenting by using rice. Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, this is still a lot of fun stuff <laughs> to do this week. Yes! Wait, she did a good job. First video today, and it was a good job. She did like kind of a good job with that box set, and I just don't really get how that happened. Uh, but she did lighten it like four times. I mean, it looks good. She looks really good as a blonde. Is it just me? Right, that's right, guys. Start commenting away saying Bradley likes blondes. Brad loves every blonde. Like, arr, like, oh my god, you're so smart. Like, I never heard anybody say that before. <gasps> that's so crazy. Get an original comment, please. Honestly, kind of a 10 out of 10. I mean, like, it's a little too brassy for my liking and a little uneven, but I'll accept it. You look divine. Your technique was kind of dope. You section, you did the thing. Next time, just use, like, 30 volume and lightener powder from a beauty supply store and don't use box that because you don't really know what you're getting in it. You'll get the same effect or better, but you'll know exactly what you're using on your hair. So that's the difference. So just try it out next time, all right? Next video is by Harriet Murray, and this is called Box Dye Blonde. Gardenier Nutris 10.01. And now, um, I'm just discussing with mum about what to do with my hair. I'm very unhappy with my hair colour at the moment. Why? It's so pretty. It's very underscript and just horrible. Okay, your hair is not horrible. It's actually really cute. I like what's going on. You have a beautiful, beautiful natural blonde color. It's gorgeous. I like this kind of fade into blonde. I think it can be definitely spruced up and, you know, bring the highlights up a bit. I think that would really help. Uh, hopefully we're doing something like that today, but we'll see. I'm going to get two boxes of blonde hair dye and a purple shampoo to kind of tone it if it all goes wrong. Okay. Sort of a plan. Got two boxes. Okay. The Garnier Nutri. Grey coverage. You don't need that. Blonde permanent hair colour. And then I also got um, a purple shampoo in case we need some sort of toning afterwards. Great. I think this goes quite yellow, so we'll see. <laughs> and then we're going to mix up the first batch of... Um... <sighs> okay, so I'm curious what developers in this formula, because it's great coverage, but probably like 30 volume or something. Um, And it's supposed to really lighten her hair, and there's probably a that you don't need in there and it's probably gonna do a little a lot of little lot of damage that she doesn't need I'm just scared for her hair. I just want it to look good, you know and mom's sectioning and she's starting from the bottom and going up Which I love but we are applying to the roots and we are shampooing it when it's not a shampoo Starting to get some orangey yellow tones mm, going same. Hopefully her roots don't get lighter than her ends from the heat from her scalp, you know? I would treat this like a virgin color application. That's three words. You would do the mids and the ends before the roots. That way you don't get hot roots, which means your roots are really bright and your ends are really not bright. I fear this was a big mistake. Oh, it's really blonde. In Holly Willoughby. Holly Willoughby would not let me down. It actually looks really good. It's gonna be the purple shampoo because every video I watched online, they did go kind of yellowy orange, which I am preparing myself for and it looks- You might need more than a purple shampoo. This is hopefully gonna be my salvation. I I might just leave this on for the rest of the day if it looks horrendous. My alternative backup plans are potentially going and buying a brown and just covering everything. Don't do that, please, no, please, no. This is a 10 minute to go update. There's definitely something happening up top. This might actually look good. Oh my God. Oh. This is not good. I am going to blow dry this a bit. Wait. I don't know. I don't know why she's upset. To me, it looks really nice and goes with her skin tone very well. I mean, it's a very warm color and she has very pink skin tone, but she's very pale. And I feel like that kind of like gingery color looks great on pale people with cool skin tones. And it looks very natural and even. May I say? It's looking a little bit better having somewhat dried it. Mum's just come up to say that, oh, like this is not bad, to actually, to be fair. But actually, the more I dry it, the more it's like not the end of the world. Instead of maybe a purple shampoo, maybe use a real toner. You know, purple shampoo is made to maintain the toner or gloss or whatever you want to call it. You need something a little stronger if you don't want it so warm toned. But I think the warm looks really great on you. We have washed again and purple shampooed again and conditioned again. The 
yellow tone is already going down so I am okay. <laughs> I think what I'll do is purple shampoo every day this week and see what happens. Okay, I know what you guys are gonna say. You're gonna be like, okay, see, box dye is not that bad, Brad. Mm. I am bad. She, you know, was the most perfect candidate for a box dye treatment, honestly, because she had very healthy hair. She had mostly virgin hair, and there was really no way she was about to damage it because that is so thick and so healthy, and it honestly came out really good. <laughs> this is a good example of like how to not abuse box dye and how to be okay with it. You know, she could have used something professional and just got it at the store and knew what she was getting inside the professional color, but she went the box dye route, which I'm gonna say is okay for this, this time around. Around. It's okay. I loved the outcome. I think the warmer blonde looked really, really good on her. And I don't know, she's got really lucky. This is like another solid 10 out of 10 today. What's going on? Am I okay? Is everything okay? I'm scared. Why are these coming out good? <sighs> I don't know. Let's move on to the next video. Hopefully we get one disaster today. Next video is by Elise Chile. This is called going from brown to platinum blonde hair at home vlog. So today, as you probably tell, I'm a little bit different. I am going to dye my hair. I want to go lighter so that I can eventually change my hair color to a bit of a crazy hair color. So I wanted to go really platinum blonde um, and I've got the swatch off intense color and it's literally the max blonde it's like dark browns into really light blonde so we're going in with the swirsk quaff bleach <laughs> she's going right on her roots first <laughs> i've run out of product what happened here i run out of the stuff which was stupid of me i should have brought another bottle this is what happens when you go right on your roots first you see that you get hot roots and they look like this and you look crazy and the top of my hair, I basically saturate the top of my hair way too much and it's gone so blonde at the top and the back isn't even taken yet so I've got like two toned hair. I am panicking to sh**. You should be panicking. It's just bad so I'm gonna wait for this to take. I'm gonna wait 20 minutes. I'm gonna wash my hair out and go and buy another box and do the rest of my hair. You're gonna need to use foils at this point or else you're not gonna get anything even because you had all that heat from your scalp which is making the color process faster and brighter. So if you don't use foils on your ends you're not gonna get as bright of a color as you did on your roots which is what I'm worried about. And then I've also bought a toner. So this toner stops the brassiness because that's what I'm not liking. Hi guys, so another quick update. I've just finished the other half. Oh no 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 no! You're putting more on. Out and then I will tone it. Fingers crossed, it turns out okay. I'm not crossing my fingers because I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna look like. Good morning. So I slept in it and I've styled it. And this is after like all of the hair products, two toners and two blonde boxes. My hair is still yellow, um, but it's a lot better. Wait, <laughs> what? I'm surprised that she's not ecstatic about this situation that she's in because it looks good. What? Oh my God, what is happening today? Why is this all like turning out so good? And she's like not happy. I don't get it. It's a lot better than what it was when I was panicking. So like, you have a look. How is it so even? What kind of shit is this? There is like a block color, which I don't like. Oh no. Like three boxes of ash blonde. I don't know which one to use yet. I've also got, if it goes wrong, I've got a silver toner and also silver shampoo. Just cause I hate it, the yellowness. Like I look like Slim Shady, literally. Oh my God. So she's trying to tone her hair, but she's using permanent color. Permanent color is different than dye permanent or semi permanent color. You don't tone your hair permanent color, especially not box dye permanent color. So such a bad idea. Color does not lift color. You cannot change your hair color using color on top of it. You must use lightener or a dye permanent or semi permanent color. It's different. It goes inside the follicle, changes the chemical makeup of your hair. You don't want to do that too many times in a row or else your hair will be really damaged. Oh, it's also says 100% gray coverage, which is scary because there's a very high developer in there, at least 20 or 30, probably 30. I just kept rubbing it in, making sure that it was all even, trying to get it everywhere. Mainly put it in the roots um, and then tried to like push it down with my, with my hands. But I just tried to get it on as quick as possible so that then I could wash it out and as soon as it hit like five to 10 minutes, I didn't actually time myself, but as soon as I felt like it was all applied, I took it off. So wait, she already did it? It looks the same. I'm so happy that it turned out okay because that yellow was just not good. Like, no way was I going to work like that. What? 
the hell? How did it come out like this? What is going on? I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> don't let this influence you to go and buy this box that she got so lucky. I'm shook. I have nothing to say about it. Cool, good for you, and I'm happy it came out well. I don't know how it came out well, but it did. 10 out of 10, I guess. Oh, that's three 10 out of 10s today. I don't think I've ever done that, ever. I think what I learned today is that I don't know what's happening to the world. I don't know why that all went so well, and I'm scared. I'm scared for the future. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. There you go. Boom. This is my number. Yes, it is really a number of mine. Yes, I really will be texting a few people back. If you text me right now, I can't speak. And also, this will notify you whenever I post a video or do anything like that. So it's right there, do it. Make sure you guys check out my hair care brand and my color brand at xmonohair.com. You can also follow us on our Instagrams, xmonocolor and xmonohair to get the hair of your damn dreams. If you guys aren't already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button right below. You can also hit the bell icon and the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Joy and she says, hi, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Hi, beautiful. So I've been wanting to dye my hair for a while now. The most adventurous I've done is blonde highlights. What do you suggest? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red, like a coppery red. Oh my God, it would look so good. Here's a reference of what a coppery red looks like that I think would look good on you. Try it out. And if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.